Hello, I'm James Reba with the Vachet Dale Resistor Group. Today we're going to show the improved RTC performance of the WSBS 8518-35 battery shunt resistor. The equipment that will be used today, uh, the first piece of equipment is the bridge which will take the resistance reading of the component. On top of that is a temperature gauge which will let us know the temperature of the resistive element for each of the components. We then have two fixtures. One fixture has the WSBS 8518-35 with the nickel chrome alloy and the other fixture has our standard WSBS 851800 microohm with the manganin alloy that we're comparing it to. And then on the uh, computer screen we will show the results of all of the readings at uh, room temperature, cold and hot temperatures and then compare the two. The first device we're going to test is a WSBS 8518 standard component. It's 100 microohm and uses a manganin alloy. There's a thermal couple attached to the uh, bottom of the resistor to determine the, the temperature of the resistive element and then it's uh, connected to the bridge uh, to take the resistance reading. The WSBS 8518-35 resistor has both nickel chrome resistance alloy. It has a patented boot design and calibration cut. Uh, all of this combined helps improve the RTC performance of the resistor. Our standard component is 175 ppm. This improved design is less than 65 ppm. The initial room temperature is 22.5 degrees Celsius and the reading at that temperature is 103.65 microns. To chart the resistance readings we first clear out the data and now when I hit run this will be for the standard WSBS 8518. At room temperature, it's reading 103.65 microohms, and you can see on the chart it's, it's charting the resistance value reading. Uh, to first prove the RTC performance, we're going to do a test at around negative 20 degrees C. So I will hit the WSBS 8518 with cold spray till it gets the resistive element temperature to minus 20 degrees C. So now it's at that temperature, we will run the test and it will chart the resistance reading which is about 103.1 degrees. Okay, now that the resistor has met a uh, temperature of negative 20 degrees C, we, we hit the uh, run button and it read the resistance value was around 103.1 microohms and you can see the, the chart and the change of resistance here. Okay, now that we have uh, cooled it down, we're going to heat it up to around 70 degrees C with a heat gun. So we'll uh, continue to heat it until it gets to 70 degrees C element temperature. Okay, now that it is at 70 degrees C, we will run. It'll take the resistance value. It's now at about 104.06. So we'll take a stop on that reading. It's now you can see the full range from cold to hot temperature for the standard WSBS 8518 manganin alloy element. Now that we've tested the uh, standard component, we've hooked up the WSBS 8518-35 and uh, we are going to take a resistance reading at room temperature. So when we hit uh, run, it is uh, reading around 99.95 microohms. Now that we've taken the room temperature reading, we're going to hit the component with cold spray to get the resistive element down to minus 20 degrees C. And once we've done that, we will take the resistance value reading, which is around 99.91 microns. And so I've hit stop, so it's charted the difference. So you can see the standard component cold temperature had a much larger shift than our new product for cold temperature. Uh, now that we've taken the cold temperature, we will heat the component up until the resistive element is to 70 degrees C. Now that the resistive element is to 70 degrees C, we will hit run to get the resistance value and then we'll hit stop. So now you've got the comparison of both the cold and hot temperatures. You can see the standard component has a much greater shift than the WSBS 8518-35. The main application for battery shunt resistor is in battery management and automotive applications. 
In automotive uh, under the hood conditions, you have very large extremes and cold and high temperatures. And the designer has to account for a shift in resistance due to these high temperatures. By utilizing the WSBS 8518-35 resistor, the designer does not have to worry about extreme shifts in resistance over that temperature range.